Welcome to my channel. I'm Meg and I'm here to give you guys a thrift haul today. I have it all down here beside me on the floor. I know it's been a while since the last time I've um, posted a video, but I just wanted to uh, take a break for a little bit and just gather my thoughts. And I've kind of been uh, really focusing on listing, listing, listing. And it's been, it's been a successful couple weeks. I still have to do um, my what sold videos. Um, I, I, I've just been procrastinating and I don't know why. Um, there's been some sickness. We've had some, um, you know, like colds and flus and things in the house. And, um, you know, it's February, just it's life, you know how it is. So anyway, let's get started. I Wednesday, I went to Goodwill and Salvation Army. I'm really trying to ramp up my number of listings. I can't remember what I'm at right now. Somewhere in the 300, 360 range. So let's see what we got here. So this is from the Goodwill. It is a super cute t-shirt by Rock Me, but that's not why I got it. It was half off. So this was $1.50 and it says sleeping with sirens. And I just like to have a little bit of quirkiness in my closet. I like to have like dog sweater, like sweaters that have dogs on them and, um, you know, Minnie and Mickey, Disney stuff, just like interesting things that people might be looking for. And even if they're not looking for it and they go to my closet, they might see it and go, oh, that's kind of cute. And also I just, this is in such a great condition. I don't think it's ever been worn. And I, it was only $1.50, so I grabbed it. This is from Goodwill also. It was half off, so this is $2. It's a Madewell shirt. Uh, and I know Madewell is not doing as, as well <laughs> anymore, but this was $2.50. And it's just this really cute, classic black and white top, tank top, and summer's coming. So what I've noticed is tank tops do not sell very well. So in terms of like looking for styles and buying things based on style, I don't do that for tank tops. For tank tops, it has to be in a great condition and two, it has to be a great brand, like a good quality brand that people may be looking for. So I don't pick, I don't usually pick up like loft tank tops or like where I would pick up like loft pants, for example, I think I have some pants in here, but um, like if it's made well or if it's free people, I will pick up those tank tops. Now these are a pair of Levi's. Oh, I'm trying Levi's. Levi's shorts. And I do love selling shorts because they're super easy to photograph. And um, these are a size 30. And I just thought they were cool. Like a cream colored rolled short. Super cute and barely warm. I think we're getting into my Salvation Army finds now. Oh, you guys, I've noticed at my Goodwill, the prices are going up. I found a pair of shoes and they were like old cowboy boots, but Ariat, so a good brand, and they were selling for $25. And I almost got them, but $25 for a pair of old boots? Come on, Goodwill. But my Salvation Army, I can always count on because they are, um, well, actually, <laughs> this shirt is... $10, but it was half off because I only go on Wednesdays and it is a really nice brand. Avani by Avani Delamore. And I Googled comps on this and they were pretty good. It kind of reminds me of a Double D Ranch style or Johnny Was. It's got this beautiful floral embroidery. It's got a tie here. Um, and I was able to find a, a stock photo. So I grabbed it and it's a size small, beautiful. Now this is fun. So guys, if you're going to your um, local Goodwill, my hair, don't look at me, just look at the clothes. <laughs> if you're going to your local Goodwill and Salvation Army, whatever the donation stores are in your area, tell me if you notice that you're seeing a lot more new with tags items, because I did. This past Wednesday specifically, I saw a lot of new with tags or even just new without tag items. Um, and I saw some tags from Ross and a uh, tag from TJ Maxx. So I think that they, they just had their yellow tag, like end of their year sale at the end of January. And I think whatever was left over, some of it, they donated, some of it, they sold to, uh, liquidation places, but 
This was one of the items that I found that I think is so cute. This is a little jumpsuit, floral jumpsuit. It's new. It's by Beige by ECI, size medium. And it's new. I think it has tags. It might not. Oh no, I knew it was new because there were like three or four right next to each other. All of the same. And I actually got this in a medium and let's see. I got it in a small too, I think. Yes, a small. Because I just thought this was perfect for spring and summer. And look at the look at this. It's got ruffles on the bottom. And it's fully lined and it seems like it would be super comfortable. So I grabbed two and I'm gonna see how they do. <laughs> oh, and they're a little staticky, so we'll, we'll see. Here is a pair of diesel shoes. I had never heard of this brand before, and here's the brand, uh, here's the uh, tag. But I saw them and I said, oh, these kind of look like good quality, and I just kind of like threw them in my cart to check on them later, because that's what I've been doing these days. They're in good condition. See the is like barely worn but um these actually are really expensive shoes um i'm not sure their popularity um because i'm noticing like even if comps look good i like we don't have any way of accessing like rate of selling like how quick something is selling like it'd be nice to look up a brand and see like it's ranking like on amazon you can look up items and it'll tell you like what ranking it is and if it's within like the top 1,000 or maybe 5,000 or something, then it's a good item to pick up. It might be selling, but it might not be selling as quick as other items. So I just thought these were, cu were cute and we'll see. If I, even if I have to hang on to them for a little while, they don't take up that much space. They are a size 36, little, little teeny ones. And they have like that cool orange thing in there. Let's see, let's stay with the shoes because shoes are my favorite. These are Carlos Santana, which I don't typically pick up, but look how cute these are. Little blue suede sandals. Here's both of them. <sighs> Cobwebs. Um, and they actually do look brand new. They look like they might have come from one of the stores because the bottoms don't look worn at all. They're a size eight and a half. That's probably another reason I picked them up because that's my size. Ooh. Oh, someone asked me in my last video if I would model some shoes. <laughs> Let's see how I do. <laughs> Here, what do you think? Good shoes? I don't know, these are actually really cute. They're a little big on me. Maybe that's why they didn't sell in the store. So now I have one sock on. Oh, these I love. Okay, these are Pelmoda little sandals, thong heeled sandals, which I think are coming back. The only thing is their round toe. And I know that the square toe ones are the ones that um, Kendall, Kylie, one of the, one of the Jenner girls um, that she wore and they became super popular. Here it is. I can't model shoes. I'm not doing it. I'm putting my sock back on. All right. So the next pair of shoes we have are these Corks by Corkies, which are expensive. I have never found this brand before. And when I Googled it, the comps looked amazing, like selling in the 40s or 50s, but these are slightly damaged. You can barely see. Well, maybe you can see, but there's scratches here. But look how cute they are. They are a size seven. And I just grabbed them because I figured I could maybe try to fix that with some oil um, like clean it up a little bit, but I don't know. These don't feel like expensive shoes, but they're leather and people like them. I do know it's a popular brand. Another pair of shoes. By the way, shoes are my top seller and they're a great flip. They flip easy for more than most items. I mean, these are Tom's See in there. Tom's and they've got these cute little floral. Um, I call this the tongue of a shoe. Tell me if that's the wrong word. Um, oh, look at that. There's even like a little thing to scan. I wonder if that'll tell me what these are. Um, these are a 9.5 and they're just cute. Very, very cute. We got more shoes. <laughs> 
These are super cute little sneakers, suede sneakers by Dolce Vita, which I don't normally pick up, but I did pick these up based on style. And like I said, shoes sell. If you're not selling shoes, I would recommend you try. You will see that they do well. Um, these also looked barely worn. Like I almost feel like they might have come from a store. The only thing I notice are these uh, spots right here. All right, and I think this is the last pair of shoes. These are Bobby, Bobby and Brooks, which I think it's a familiar sounding brand. I think these might be sold at Anthropology sometimes. I'm don't don't uh, mark my word on that, but um, these are just your classic blue kind of distressed looking sneakers. Super cute, brand new. Now let's go on to some clothes. Okay, this is Brooks, which is a really great running brand or athletic brand. They make um, running shoes, they're famous for their shoes, but this says run happy. So someone could have their Brooks sneakers and run in their Brooks top. Next we have, oh, this I actually got for myself. It's pink and it's just a little cropped sweatshirt. I've just really enjoyed like wearing sweatshirts lately. They're just easy to throw on and comfortable and they keep you cozy. Although I do, I'm in San Antonio, in case you haven't um, watched any of my other videos. I live in San Antonio and it's gonna start getting hot soon. So I'm not gonna be needing sweatshirts. This is J. Crew. it's a men's 100% linen sh uh, shirt. And I think this might be the new label, but it's a blue linen Top, handsome button down shirt for a man. Oh, this was an interesting find. I got this at Salvation Army and it's actually a men's like sweatshirt, lightweight sweatshirt. It's a size large and it's by The Rail. And I picked this up even though it does have some flaws on the back um, because it was featured on a TV show. I'm gonna, I washed it already and the stains did not come out. So I'm gonna wash it again. So that, goes over there in the wash pile. Here's another thing I need to wash. This is a cute skirt, super cute. Zara skirt, size medium. I picked this up because it's a skirt. I don't usually pick up Zara, but because it's a skirt and it's like super stretchy, like different sizes can wear this. I thought this would be, this would do well. Now we have free people which I don't normally pick up because it's not, well, I do. Okay, so I do pick it up based on style. Um, and this was actually a big if for me because it is a sleeveless sweater. Um, but I just looked up comps and it looked really cute on the model. And also it's a, you can wear it as a cowl neck thing or you can wear it off the shoulder like that. So it's kind of a convertible top. And it's got these cool colors, it's got the stripe down the back. So I picked it up. It was only like $1, $1.50. Oh no, this was actually, yeah, this was actually $5. Um, I'm not happy that I paid that much. Um, but like I said, my Goodwill prices are going up. I'm not happy about it, but what are you gonna do? I actually had to leave a lot behind. I found a few other Madewell pieces that I just had to leave behind because I wasn't going to pay $4 or $5 for a little Madewell tank top. Although that is kind of a good price for a tank top. If you're buying it for yourself, that's a really good price for a Madewell tank top. So anyway, this is Foot Joy. If you don't know this brand, it's a very high quality um, golf brand. And I do have um, like a men's golf shirt, but I believe this is a woman's, um, just a woman's half zip. And it's pr it's brand new. It's I don't think it's ever been worn. Um, so I picked that up. That resell, no, that retails for like $100 or more. So we'll see. I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, quick tip. Um, I find, and I, this was one of the, was one of the pieces. I find a lot of good things on the rack near where people put away the
the clothes that they tried on in the dressing rooms. So that was one of the pieces. So you should definitely check that out. I actually did get it. That was a tip that I got from another person on YouTube. This is an Armani Exchange little jacket. It's perfect for spring. It's cropped. I think it might even be like an athletic type sweatshirt jacket. I just love it. And it was $5. I think that's a pretty good price for this. Yeah, it's definitely got to be athletic because it's got that uh, burnout. This, if you don't know, this like kind of like stripey pattern is called burnout. Oh, this already sold. This was fun to find. I went to it. I was about to leave and I was tired and my back hurt. And I was like, I got to get out of here. I need to go home, take a nap. Um, <laughs> so... I was like, well, let me just check this one last second. There's a section behind the shoes that I don't know what it is. It's like long sleeves and jackets, but then sometimes you find a short sleeve shirt. It's kind of like mixed, but I found this sweater in there. This is the back of it. Oh, do you see? Do you see that? Well, I didn't. I didn't see that till I was like looking. I just said, I don't see a tag. I don't see anything. And then I turned it around and oops. <laughs> Boom. Hello, Lulu. So I quickly threw this in my cart. It was $5. I didn't care. I never find Lulu. The last time I found Lululemon was at the Goodwill Bins in New Hampshire. And I actually found two pieces. I found a skirt and a top. Three. And the, But the third piece I found was this white tank top. And it was totally like discolored and ruined. But this is a cute little gray sweater. It's called the Sunset S Savannah top and um, it's already sold for $30. So quick, good, quick flip. I didn't want to hold out for 50 because you know, it's a used sweater and I was happy with the $30. Next we have a tank top. <laughs> And this is a good brand and it was half off. So this was only a dollar or two fifty. This is altered state size medium. It's got the exposed raw seams. Um, it's a high low. It's just gorgeous. And on the front, it says live in the dream road tripping. Oh, it's so cool. So rocky. So rock and roll. I love it. We have just a few more things. So this is, I'll save the best one that I feel like is the best one. I'll save that for last. Keep you guys on edge. This is Urban X and it was only $1.50. And I found it on Zulily. They had this on Zulily. It's just the, the graphic says vintage ride and it's that burnout kind of thin material that would be perfect for springtime. So I got that. This is beautiful. Also super soft and stretchy. And oh, I've been finding Hannah Anderson and like Matilda Jane in women's clothes. <laughs> and I haven't sold it yet. Or maybe I did. I might've sold the Hannah Anderson piece that I had. I forget what it was, but I still have a Matilda Jane, I think. But this is just a giant like poncho type turtleneck thing that I think is just so cool. Can be worn with these. These are the last piece and they are rag and bone. These had great comps, even though it's printed denim, which I don't usually like, I'm scared of printed de denim. This is called the Linton print and it's pretty popular. Woo! And they are like a skinny jean. Um, yeah, Linton. There it is. So I just saw these on the, in Salvation Army. They were <laughs> $3.50. I saw them on the edge of a um, rack. I saw them the back, from the back and I said, oh, let me check those out. And they are like kind of moto also. I thought they looked cool. And then when I saw the tag, I threw them in my cart because <laughs> I knew that they were coming home with me. So that's the end of my haul and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit 
subscribe before you go. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.